Hello and welcome to the video guys, it's Militated here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these outfits in GTA Online. Now these outfits are made using the transfer glitch so if you want non-transfer versions then you can watch the video that I made before this one. The only two main requirements for this glitch is that you need to have the Diamond Casino Heist infiltration suits unlocked, the ones with the pouches, and your main male character has to be in the first character slot. Don't forget to join the Militated Discord server, the invite link is in the description and you can also follow me on Instagram at officialmilitated. So again, these outfits are made with the transfer glitch, so it will delete all of your player saved outfits apart from the one that you're wearing, so please make sure that you're wearing your favourite outfit. As I know someone is going to ask, the tutorial for the outfit that I'm currently wearing is in the description and you can actually make it at the same time as this video. But now that we have gotten all of that out of the way, it's time to get on to the outfits. So we're going to start off on our main male character and we're going to press the start button and go to the online tab. Next we're going to go down to swap character and this is then going to load up the character selection screen as expected. In case you skip the intro, which I don't recommend, your main male character has to be in the first character slot. If it's in the second one, this will not work for you. We're now going to go over to the second slot and we're going to create a new character. You can use an existing female character if you happen to have one, but please do note that we're going to be deleting it later anyway. If you're able to, then I recommend that you copy your main character's rank over to this new character so that you don't have any issues buying anything in the clothing store, and no, it will not affect your main character's rank. At this point, we need to make sure that the character is a female, then we're going to go down to save and continue. We then need to enter a name and take a photo. This is then going to load you down into a GTA Online session after a cutscene. Please do note that if you disconnect from GTA Online at any point after creating the female character, all the way up until we're back on the male character later on, then you will need to restart the glitch entirely. Disconnecting stops the glitch from working. On the female, the first thing that we're going to do is press the start button and we're going to check and see if the clothing stores have spawned in on the map. If they haven't, just go and find a new session. As you can see, they have for me, so we're now going to go and head down to a clothing store. Once we arrive, we're going to start browsing the accessory section and we're going to go into the earrings category. From here we're then going to go down to the bottom and we're going to purchase the B&W Deco earrings. Please do not forget these as they are what allow the pouches to transfer later on in the video. You must make sure that these are on all of the female outfits that we are about to make. In gloves we're going to purchase the light woodland tactical and then we're going to back out of there and instead head over to the pants section. We're going to go into the sports pants category and purchase the spotted muscle pants which are the first ones on the list. If you're new to this glitch and you have no idea what's going on, just purchase exactly what I'm purchasing and you'll be fine. In the top section, we're going to go into the shirts category and start scrolling down until we get to the cyan leopard short sleeve. Man, whoever designed this shirt, it is, it is completely ugly. Anyway, we're now going to go over to the shoe section and we're going to go into sneakers. From here we're going to purchase the pink plain high tops. Okay, so now that we have all of those items equipped, we're going to back out of the shoe section and head back over to tops. Before we do anything else though, we're going to save this one in slot 1, and we're going to call it Outfit 1. After it's been saved, we're then ready to move on to the next part of the outfit, so we're going to go back and go down to the Work Jackets category. From here we're going to purchase the Peach Camo Closed Field. Now if this jacket happens to be open for you, all you need to do is open up your interaction menu, go into Style, and set your jacket to Closed instead of Open. In order for this glitch to work, the jacket has to be set to Closed, so please make sure you do it. Okay, so we're now going to go back into the top section, but this time we're going to go into the gun running t-shirts category. We're then going to go down to the bottom of the list and we're going to purchase the blue digital t-shirt. Make sure it is this exact one at the bottom of the list as there are a couple in this category that have a similar name. So again, it's the one at the bottom of the list. We're then going to save this one in outfit slot 2 and we're going to call it gun belt. Now that both of those outfits have been saved, we're ready to move on to the transfer outfits for outfit 2. We're going to start browsing the top section and we're going to go into the sports jackets category. From here we're going to go down to the bottom of the list and we're going to purchase the sea green puffer jacket. After buying that, we're then going to back out of there and go back into the gun running t-shirts category. This time though we're going to go to the top of the list and we're going to scroll down until we get to the blue digital rolled tee. This one is completely different from the one that was at the bottom of the list. With the rolled tee equipped, we're then going to back out of the top section and instead open up the interaction menu. From here we're going to go into inventory and body armour and we're going to equip the standard armour. If you don't actually want the vest on male outfit 2, then don't equip the vest on these female outfits. Either way, we're going to save this into outfit slot 4 and we're going to call it gun. Leave one empty space. The next step is to then open up the interaction menu, go into style and go down to outfit and we're going to equip the one called outfit 1. This is just going to make it easier to make the next outfit. So now we're going to go back into the top section. So this time we're going to go into the t-shirts category and we're going to purchase the leopard rolled tee. This is another of Rockstar's very questionable design choices. What are they doing? 
Anyway, we're now going to back out of tops and reopen the interaction menu. From here we're going to go into inventory and body armour and once again equip the standard armour. Like I said before, if you don't want the vest on male outfit too, then don't equip the vest here either. Whatever you decide to do, we're then going to go back into the top section and we're going to save this one in outfit slot 3 and we're going to call it outfit 2. So those are the two transfer outfits for outfit 2. To do the outfits for outfit 3, we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and equip the outfit called gun belt. This will just make the next outfit easier to do. So now that we are browsing the top section once again, we're going to go back into the gun running t-shirts category and go to the top of the list. This time though, we're going to purchase the cobble rolled tee. With that purchased, we're then going to go and save this into outfit slot 6 and we're going to call this one plate carrier. Again, leave the slot before blank. The empty space is where we're going to save the next outfit, so we're now going to go back, but this time we're going to go into the server shirts category. Thankfully this one is not locked, so we're going to purchase the forest green armoured shirt. That is pretty much the only thing that we need to buy for this outfit, so we're now going to go and save this one into outfit slot 5 and we're going to call it outfit 3. Before we go any further, just make sure that you have the B and W deco earrings on all of your outfits. If you followed the video correctly, then you should have. So you may notice that we still have a bunch of empty outfit slots. To make this worth your time, I recommend that you go and watch some of my other transfer videos to make outfits such as the one that I was wearing at the start of the video, and you can save those outfits here at the same time. Of course, that is entirely up to you, you don't have to do it. Okay, so we're now ready to move on, so to do that, we need to initiate a force save. We're going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and equip any of our saved outfits, it doesn't matter which one it is. Close the interaction menu and an orange circle will pop up in the bottom right of the screen indicating that the game is saving. If it didn't show up, just wait a minute and switch outfit again. To move on, we're going to press the start button and we're going to go over to the online tab. From here we're going to go down and start up the creator. This is then going to load up the creator menu a few seconds later. At this point we're going to go to create a race and select tutorial. We're going to press OK when this message comes up, and we'll be brought to a screen similar to this one. Next, we're going to press the Start button if you're using a controller, or the P key if you're on PC. We then need to go over to the Online tab, and we're going to select Choose Character. This will then load up the character selection screen like it did the first time. However, once it does load up, do not select a character. Instead, you're going to go over to the Female character in slot 2, and you're going to delete it. Do not delete your main male character, that is very important. Make sure it is the female in slot 2. Once the selection screen loads up again, do not select a character. Instead you're going to look at the bottom right of the screen and you're going to press the button that allows you to return to Grand Theft Auto 5. Doing this is then going to load you down into a single player session. When you're able to, we're then going to press the start button and go back over to the online tab. From here we're going to go to play GTA Online and press go. Shortly after, you'll then load into a GTA Online session on your male character. So we're now going to go and head over to the clothing store and start browsing the outfit section. As you can see, the outfits that we made on the female character have now transferred over to the male outfit slots. If they didn't, well, please make sure that you follow the video exactly as it is done. Before we move on, make sure that you save your favourite outfit which is the one that you are currently wearing. Once that's done, we're then ready to start putting things together, so we're now going to go back into the outfit section and we're going to go into the Diamond Casino Heist category. Next we're going to go into Infiltration Upgraded Tech and we're going to purchase any of these outfits that have the pouches on the front. As I said at the start of the video, you need to have these unlocked from completing the heist finale of the Diamond Casino heist. We're now going to start browsing pants and go into Arena War Pants. From here we're going to purchase the grey camo chain pants which are near the bottom of the list. With those equipped, we're then going to back out of there and head over to the shoe section. For this outfit, we're going to go into the running shoes category and purchase the graphite retro runners. Of course, feel free to use a different pair if you prefer. We're now going to remove the mask, so we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and remove it from there. This is just to stop the screen from going green when we enter Crooked Cop. Speaking of, we're now going to press the start button, go to online and go to jobs. Now go to play job, rockstar created and go down to verses. From here we're going to start the mission called Crooked Cop. This will then load up the mission settings screen a few seconds later and we're going to make sure that clothing is set to player owned, that is very important. Next we're going to confirm the settings and we need to invite one other person. You can use auto invite like I did to get a random person, or you can invite a friend if you have one online. Alternatively, you can join the Militated Discord server where you can find someone to help you there. The link to that is down below. Just please be sure to read the rules before posting. So once someone has joined and you have launched the mission, you'll then be brought to the outfit selection screen. We're now going to go down to owned outfit and press right once to equip outfit 1, and then right again to equip gun belt. As you can see, the outfits have now merged together. As I've said previously, if your pouches disappear, then that means that you forgot to put the B and W deco earrings on your female outfits. 
Anyway, once the mission has started, we're going to open up the interaction menu and go into Style and Accessories. From here we're going to press left to equip the grey earpiece. Once that's done, you can then close the interaction menu, bring up the phone and quit the job from there. This is then going to take you down into a GTA Online session and you'll still be wearing the outfit. We're now going to head over to a clothing store and start browsing the accessory section. From here we're going to go into the gloves category. For this outfit we're going to be using the black armoured, but feel free to use whichever ones you want. Either way, we're then going to leave the clothing store and head down to the mask store on Vespucci Beach. In the hat section, we're going to go into the canvas hats category to purchase the grey woodland boonie down. After buying the hat, we're then going to make sure that we save this into an empty outfit slot and we're going to call this one Outfit 1 Comp. With the outfit saved, we're then going to back out of hats and head over to the mask section. Next we're going to go into the diamond casino heist category and purchase the yellow visor respirator which will remove the hat but don't worry. Now that we have the mask, we're going to back out of there and head over to the telescopes at Del Peru Pier. At this point, we're going to sprint towards the telescope at an angle and you're going to press right on the d-pad as soon as you get near it. If done correctly, you'll just stand there and you won't have the mask on. Remember, it's tap to sprint, not hold. Okay, now we're going to reopen the interaction menu and go into style, and from here we're going to equip the outfit that we just saved at the mask store called Outfit 1 Comp. The mask will then reappear under the hat when you walk away from the telescope. Next, we're going to head over to the nearest ammunition. When we arrive, we're going to start browsing the weapon section and we're going to make sure that we've purchased a parachute from the top left. Now we're going to back out of the weapon section and open up the interaction menu. From here we're going to go into style and parachute and make sure that the parachute is set to on. For this outfit we're going to be using the black combat shoot bag. As you can see, the parachute straps kind of look like webbing holding the pouches together on the front of the outfit. With that done, we're then going to go back, but this time go into inventory and body armour and we're going to make sure that we have the standard armour. So that is everything we need to do for this outfit, so we're going to head over to the outfit section and make sure that we save this outfit for the last time. We're then going to go up to outfit 1 and gun belt and we're going to delete both of those as we no longer need them. We need to make sure that those two outfit slots are empty for the next outfit, so again, don't save anything in there either. To begin with outfit 2, we're going to go into the outfit section and go into Diamond Casino Heist. Next, go into Infiltration Upgraded Tech and purchase the outfit called the Schema. This has the black flight boots, which is what we're going to be using. So when we back out, we're going to open up the interaction menu to remove the mask. So go into Style and Accessories and remove it from there. In the pants section, we're going to go into the cargo pants category and purchase the grey digital cargo which is going to match with the parka jacket we're about to get. As you can see, we also have these on with the flight boots which you normally can't do. So now we're going to start up Crooked Cop the exact same way as we did the first time. Again, just make sure that clothing is set to player owned and then go down to confirm settings. Once you've started the mission, you'll then be brought to the outfit selection screen and we're going to go back down to owned outfit. Press right once to equip outfit 2 and right again to equip gun. With the outfits merged, we're then going to press ready and wait for the other person to ready up. Open up the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and press left to equip the grey earpiece. Next, we're then going to bring up the phone and quit the job from there, which will then put us down into a GTA free mode online session. As you can see, you'll still be wearing the outfit, so we're now going to head down to the mask store on Vespucci Beach. When we arrive, we're going to start browsing the mask section and go back into the diamond casino heist category. From here, we're going to go down to the bottom and purchase the grey digital net gator. Now that we have that equipped, we're going to go into the hat section and go into the biker helmets category. From here we're going to go down to the bottom and purchase the black spiked. This will then combine with the gator and we're going to save this into an empty outfit slot and call it outfit 2 comp. Again, do not save it in the first two outfit slots, make sure that they are left blank. Okay, so we're now ready to move on and select our hat, so we're going to go back and go into the berets category. Now it's entirely up to you which one you pick and you can use one of the garrison caps if you prefer. However, for this outfit I'm going to be using the grey digital beret. This is of course to match with the rest of the outfit which is grey digital. At this point we can then back out of the hat section as we are now ready to glitch the two together. So for this next part we're going to need two vehicles, one being a motorbike and one being a car. I would highly recommend that you bring your own bike as they're much harder to find than a car. Now that we have both of those, we're going to open up the interaction menu and go into style. Go down to outfit and scroll along to the one that we just saved but do not equip it. Again, this is outfit 2 comp. Now press up to go to parachute and then enter the car. Go back down to outfit and equip it as soon as your character's hat disappears when you sit down in the car. You have to be quite quick as you only have a short window where you're able to actually change the outfit. Now go back up to parachute and exit the car. Next, we're going to go into security serve and we're going to register as a CEO or a VIP. This is the point where we need the motorbike so we're going to go and walk over to it. Reopen the interaction menu, go into security serve, management and style and press right once to equip the founder outfit. We're now going to get onto the bike and you're going to press left once as you're getting on. This will set the outfit back to none and as you can see, we now have the hat and gator together. Now we're going to drive down to a clothing store and we're going to start browsing the glasses section. From here we're going to go into sports glasses and purchase the greyscale urban ski. 
As you can see, no glitches are required to do that. If you're not really a fan of these and you want something a bit more low profile, go into gun range glasses and purchase the white guns. It's entirely up to you which glasses you pick, but we're now going to go into the interaction menu, go into style and parachute, and make sure that parachute is set to on. Just like before, we're going to be using the black combat shoot bag. Lastly, we're going to go back into the glasses section and we're going to make sure that we save this outfit for the last time. As we did with the first outfit, we're then going to delete the transfer outfits which are called outfit 2 and gun, as we no longer need them anymore. These must be deleted if we're going to move on to outfit 3, so please make sure that you delete them. As you can see, we now have 4 empty outfit slots, so please do not save anything in them. Just before we move on to outfit 3, there's one problem that you're going to face with this outfit and I'm going to show you how to fix it. If you decide to switch outfit and change back, you'll notice that the mask doesn't reappear. To fix this, we're going to go up to where it says parachute and you're going to enter a vehicle. You're then going to equip the outfit as you're getting in or on the vehicle. Doing this will then make the mask reappear. Now if you just want a stress-free experience and you don't want it to happen, then you can use something like a forwards cap and it will stop that from happening. I prefer the beret though, so I don't mind doing it. For outfit 3, we're going to go into the outfit section and go into diamond casino heist. Go back into infiltration upgraded tech and purchase any of the outfits that have the pouches on the front. As we've done previously, we're then going to go and remove the mask from the interaction menu by going into style and accessories and removing it from there. In the pants section, we're going to go into the arena wall pants and we're going to purchase the grey camo chain pants near the bottom of the list. In shoes, we're going to go into the running shoes category and purchase the mono retro runners. If you prefer, then you can use the white or graphite ones instead. Once we've made our choice, we're then going to start up Crooked Cop the exact same way as we've done twice before. Again, just be sure to set the clothing to player owned. Once you've got someone and you've started the mission, it'll then take you back to the outfit selection screen and we're going to go down to owned outfit. Press right once to equip outfit 3 and right again to equip plate carrier. After you've readied up and started the mission, you're then going to open the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and press left to equip the grey earpiece. We're then going to bring up the phone and equip the job, which is going to take us back down into a free mode session. As expected, you'll still be wearing the outfit, so we're now going to head down to the mask store on Vespucci Beach. Once we arrive, we're going to start browsing the mask section, go into the ski mask category and we're going to purchase the grey camo spec ski. Next we're going to back out of masks and go over to hats, and from here we're going to go into combat helmets. It's entirely up to you which colour you go for because there are quite a few that will work with this outfit, but I'm going to be using the black advanced. I would have used the white advanced if it didn't have a green tint to it. Now though we're going to go down to a clothing store and start browsing accessories to go into the gloves category. For this outfit we're going to purchase the white armoured to match the shirt. With those equipped, we're then going to go and make sure that we save this into an empty outfit slot and we're going to call this one Outfit 3 Comp. To move on, we're going to back out of there and go over to glasses. From here we're going to go into sports glasses and purchase the grayscale urban ski. To combine those with the mask, we're going to leave the clothing store and head down to the telescopes at Del Peru Pier. Open up the interaction menu, go into style and equip the outfit that we just saved at the clothing store. Now we're going to sprint towards the telescope at an angle and press right on the d-pad as soon as we get near it. The mask and helmet will then disappear, but you should just stand there instead of looking into the telescope. Now reopen the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and go down to glasses. Press left until you get to the grayscale urban skis and then walk away from the telescope. The mask and helmet will then reappear, but we still have the glasses. We're now going to head back down to a clothing store and we're going to open up the interaction menu. Now go into style and parachute and set parachute to on. For this outfit, I recommend that you either use the grey or charcoal combat shoot bag instead of the black one. Lastly, we're then going to go back into the outfit section and save this one for the last time. You can then delete the remaining two transfer outfits as we no longer need those. Again, those are outfit 3 and plate carrier. Now that we have no more transfer outfits, you can go and use those empty outfit slots. As a side note, I decided to change to the graphite retro runners instead of the mono ones as I think they look a little bit better. But that is pretty much it, so thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel just in case you haven't done so already. Don't forget to join the Militated Discord server where you can view and share your outfits with the community. The invite link is down below. You can also follow me on Instagram at OfficialMilitated and if you have any questions or problems then please do leave them down in the comment section below and I'll try to get to you as soon as I can. But once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next GTA Online video.